Welcome guys! The UMP has undergone quite a few changes during its lifespan in PUBG. It went from being mediocre to being praised by many, to being completely nerfed, to now being one of the most underrated weapons in the game. Since the SMG buff patch about a year ago, the UMP have been solid, but strangely haven't been able to pick up the popularity that I believe it deserves. In this video, I'll tell you why you should use the UMP-45. The most obvious argument to using this weapon is the very easy handling. And because of this easy handling, the weapon is very easy to kit out with attachments since very often it doesn't really matter that much what you put on it. My preferred loadout, however, is using it with a scope, a half or vertical grip, an extended mag as the capacity increases from 25 to 35 bullets, and a compensator for that perfect handling, or a suppressor. The suppressor on the UMP is very interesting, since it reduces the audible distance from about 400 meters unsuppressed to about 125 meters. Having a gun like this, which is completely silent outside of 125 meters, is actually crazy good, because that means it will be impossible to hear it within the same range where the full auto spray downs are possible. Everyone knows that it's a very easy gun to use, and for that reason many consider it nothing but a beginner's weapon. However, in the hands of an experienced player, it can be absolutely devastating during a long range scope spray due to the super high accuracy of the weapon. The downside of this is however that if your enemy starts moving, you'll have a hard time hitting them as the weapon has an incredibly low bullet velocity of just 360 meters per second. A 100 meter shot will take about 300 milliseconds to land, with a barrel this takes 150 milliseconds, and with a mini 14 a bullet can travel 100 meters in just 110 milliseconds. So using a UMP for long range sprays is very possible and super fun, but you kinda need your enemy to sit still. Let's also talk about close quarters since this is after all a submachine gun. Here this weapon doesn't disappoint. As it is an SMG it receives all the SMG benefits such as faster ADS, but also a smaller hipfire reticle making hipfire far more accurate as you can see from this comparison with an M416. And the movement speed is a lot faster too. This is movement speed while ADS compared with the movement speed you have using an assault rifle. All of these things makes the UMP a lot more agile during close quarters, and the damage is higher than you probably think. The UMP straight up destroys an M416 in close range based on the time to kill against level 2 geared players. Even against the barrel, the UMP almost keeps up. In fact, even against level 3 armor, as long as you hit a few shots in the arms or legs of your enemy, the UMP straight up beats these assault rifles. Aiming for the arms is a very potent strategy in close quarters with SMGs. So the damage up close is highly competitive, even compared to the extremely popular barrel. The ADS speed, movement speed and hipfire accuracy is far better than that you find on an assault rifle, making you more agile. And the handling is laser accurate, allowing for easy spray downs over 100 meters away. That all sounds very good, because it is. What really drags down the UMP though, is definitely the slow bullet velocity like I already mentioned. Here you can also see how this affects the bullet drop versus an M416. So it's not only difficult to lead your shots, but you're also gonna have a lot of bullet drop. This is why you need a DMR as your other weapon when your target starts running. Pairing the UMP with the DMR, and you've pretty much got everything you need in your kit. Lastly, the UMP will be deadlier than you think due to being highly underestimated. I cannot tell you how often I use this gun and my enemies seem to underestimate me. As soon as they hear the UMP, they rush forward with their barrel or whatever other gun they have, full of confidence, just to be absolutely destroyed by this underrated SMG. 
So get in there, pick up this weapon and take it for a spin. It's fun and it works very well. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. Subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time.